The boys are fishing on Lake St. Catherine in Louisiana with professional football players Mike Mowdy and Mike Zordich. The fellas are in the middle of a fishing competition Fires. with Sean and Z, comfortably in first place. But Antonio is hoping that his teammates' home field advantage will help them put some more points on the board and more fish in the box. Oh yeah, here we go. Mike Bounty was great out in the boat. Uh, he actually grew up in nice Mandeville, just fish. about 15 minutes away from here. So it was great to learn from him out there because he's grown up here. His dad's a big fisherman. His whole family lo loves to be on the water. That's so. Yeah, that's a good fish. Let me get my net from my partner. Baby, come on. Baby Mike Mountie's an amazing right. fisherman, actually, like Sean said, I was learning from him too. Nice. He's pretty much a local hero here. He blocked a punt a couple weeks ago and ran in for a touchdown. And when he showed up in the marina today here, everyone was talking about that punt. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I got one. All right. Nice that man. There you go, count him up. Nice little red. Let him go, grow up, be big. But it still counts. I got a nice little sheep head here. Get right there, man. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Not only are we catching them, but we eating them too. And that's exactly what Antonio plans to do. Mike Mowdy and Smash have caught fire and put a dent in the fish on's lead. And now it's time for Antonio to turn up the heat in the kitchen as he puts the sheep head to the flame to make his latest dish. A Louisiana style jambalaya. I'm not making your traditional jambalaya. Different ingredients all together and easy for you so you can do at home as well. Here we have some really nice fresh fillets of sheep head. Sheep head is a meaty fish. We're gonna start off with our base. Get your pan going, get your butter in there to start. Get our onions in there start sweating these off. The peppers and the onions will cook together. In between those bell peppers, I have a little poblano pepper to turn the heat up a little bit. Not so spicy. Again, you can use a jalapeno, you can use a habanero, any kind of heat you want to bring to the table. I'm going to get your tomatoes in there. You want to really cook off what you have going here first, kind of sweat it down. I just got some salt, some black pepper to taste, and mix all that together. Keep your heat to about medium high. You don't want to burn this stuff. You kind of want to reduce it right down you could add any kind of meat to it that you prefer. Today, again, we're using the fish, so we really want to highlight that sheep head. Now that that's about three quarters done, we're gonna grab our fish here, put it on our cutting board. And like I said, we're gonna make some cuts to about one inch or so. Don't be shy with your fish. You can add as much as you like. If we got our Louisiana spice to kick it up a notch, we're just gonna kind of gently coat this fish, give it a little mix up. We're gonna add that right into our pile there. You can see the real nice colors in this jambalaya. See this fish is getting a little white color to it. That's an indication that it's starting to cook. We're gonna add the potatoes. These are about three quarters cooked already. And then we have some really nice springs of asparagus. In the market, you're just gonna kinda pop them on there like that. Another key ingredient when you're doing a jambalaya is Worcestershire sauce. It actually adds a little bit of sweet with a little bit of salty at the same time. And the smell, the aroma that is coming off of this dish is unbelievable. Now we did add a lot of salt and a lot of pepper to your vegetables, so you really don't need to add any more at this point. But what I'm gonna do here is I wanna spice it up a notch. I'm gonna take a little bit of more of this Louisiana seasoning, and I'm just gonna kinda go over it one more time. Another thing now that is important is adding your stock. What you wanna do is not add the stock too early because then you'll be poaching your fish. And the stock that you usually use when you're doing a jambalaya is a basic chicken broth. Some people even use beef broth. Um, but I have a fish stock. Take your bones, the head, tail. You can reduce that down in a pot with celery, carrots, and onion to make a really nice broth. Strain it out, don't waste your fish. And you're gonna let that reduce right into your fish. You're gonna notice that everything is cooked evenly. It's really important that when you are cooking a jambalaya, you don't throw everything into the dish all at once and start cooking it. You can see now this fish is starting to break apart in the dish. When you see that happening, you know that your dish is pretty much done. You don't want to overcook the fish. You don't want it to be rubbery. Let's finish this off with our rice. Now, I already parboiled this rice, so it's already cooked. All you really want to do is bring it back to temperature, and you want that rice to soak in all the flavor of all that beautiful fish. I'm going to add three heaping spoons of rice to that. See the color of that white rice is going to turn the color of your stock. Give her a little flip. Make sure all the ingredients are mixed together. I like to use a nice bowl so that way there's no mess on your plate. Another couple pieces of fish just for the top. I have here some fresh alfalfa sprouts that we picked up at the market here. We're just going to garnish it like so. 
keep the height. We have a Louisiana style sheep head jambalaya. This is what I can do with the fish. Stay tuned to see what the football stars do with their dish. Coming up next, the boys are back on the water to finish the competition. Will Sean continue his domination? If we lose, I'll never hear the end of it from Smash. Or will Chef Antonio finally get his victory? <laughs> Beauty. Yes, sir. Thanks for checking out Celebrity Fish and Fire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, if you like what you see and you want to see more, click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. We got some really, really cool stuff this season. A lot more to come. Also, we'll be dropping new episodes twice a week, um, along with some fishing tips, cool cooking tips from myself. Whether I'm on set, I'm at home, I'm in the kitchen, anywhere, live from the shore, we're gonna cook something up special and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. Stay tuned, we'll see you next time. Celebrity Fish and Fire.